So now that we understand the need for data validation, let's take a look at incorporating, creating data validation. So I'm still using the same example file and I'm on the worksheet called sort and filter. Now the validation that I want to show off here that I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to work with the make column. So as people are editing records, adding new records into this list, I want them to only be able to pick from a predefined set of makes. And that's it, nothing else. Well, before you can apply validation to a list, you got to select the cells that you want to apply the validation to. So for me, I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to grab from A4 and I'm just going to grab a few rows down below. I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'll grab down to B30. So that's the group of cells from B4 down to B30 that I want to apply the validation to. If this was real world and I anticipated that this list was going to grow several hundred or thousands of records, you'd want to grab all of those rows that you're going to apply the validation to. Anticipate how big your list is going to get. So now that I've got the rows selected or the cells selected, I'm now going to create my validation. So I'll go up to my data tab, top of my screen. Inside the data tools section, I'm going to go to data validation and I'm going to create data validation. All right, this opens up my data validation window. Remember, in the background, I've got a group of cells selected. So my settings or validation criteria for that group of cells, I'm going to allow not any value, because that would that, that's 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 opening opening up the doorway for people to input incorrect data. So I'm not going to allow any value, but I'm going to allow one of these validation criteria techniques. And for me, I'm going to use a list. I'm going to tell them they can only pick from a predefined set of makes, a list that I'm about to create here. So for my list, I'm going to bring up a source. I'm going to say you can pick from Chevy, and you separate them by commas. So I'm going to say Chevy, comma, Ford, comma, uh, Pontiac. Oh, let's make sure I spell that right. Pontiac. Uh, comma. Uh, what else do we got there? We got Dodge. All right, I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to leave off Oldsmobile for a moment, okay? Because I want to show you something here. But in reality, Oldsmobile might be a, a correct value. But I want to show you what happens if it's not a part of the list. So Chevy, Ford, Pontiac, Dodge, all separated by commas. That's your validation criteria. That's your list. That's what people can pick from now. So I'll hit OK. And now, let's imagine I want to put in a new record here, so I'm going to say this is number 100. I tab over. I've now got a drop-down arrow where I can pick from the valid makes. So I'll grab Ford. Tab over. Here's a Mustang. And so on. Now, let's say I get down here, and here's number record number 110. And I jump over here, and I say, uh, we're going to have a Porsche. Right? There's Porsche. Well, Porsche wasn't one of the four makes that you could choose from. I hit my tab key. Oh, and now I get an error. Hey, the value entered is not valid. A user is restricted the values. Okay, so I can retry. I can cancel. If I retry, I can try typing something else in there. I go to the drop-down menu. If I cancel, it'll just drop what I did. So I have to pick from the valid section. Here's a Chevy. Now, remember earlier... Oldsmobile, that was in my original list, and it's not barking at me. It's not saying, hey, whoa, you, that's an incorrect value, right? Well, that's because it was already in the list, so it's not validating that one at this point. But take a look at this. I'm going to go back to my data tab. I'll go back to da data validation, and I'm going to say circle invalid data. And now it's telling me. Ooh, Oldsmobile and Chrysler are two invalid values that you have in here, existing data. So not only can you validate new data that's coming into the system, but you can also jump into here and find any errors within existing data. So try this out. It's really simple, data validation. Highlight the group of cells that you want to validate, whether they're old records or new records or a combination of new and old. Go up to your data tab data validation, 
and create a list validation. Do the makes. Try out this example right here that I've just given you. Or try out the model. Try out the auto, smoke, and convertible, and insurance. Whatever you want. Make up something of your own. But try adding data validation. You're going to thank yourself in the end because you're going to get consistent, clean data into your system so that when you go to report on it later, you get that same consistent, clean data out of your system as well. So try it out. Create some data validation using a list.